my experience of um, talking to people in the aid or the development sector is that they're comfortable with what they know and so many conversations about the CDI with development professionals drift back to the aid component and you know and uh, and we say what are you doing on trade and they say well we're, we're giving some aid to help with trade and and that's the answer to every component I think um, the, you know the, the takeaway for development professionals I think is to is to use the CDI as a conversation starter with with other departments um, we often find that, that people can use us as the bad guy. Um, you know, if, uh, if, a, if a development professional knows someone in the environment department and they can call them up and say, well, this independent think tank thinks that we're not doing that well on environment. And, you know, we know you're doing all you can, but mm -hmm. hey, you know, they don't. Why don't, why don't we have a think about what else we can do? And, and, and that's the kind of, you know, that, that's why we think is a valuable tool that can be used. Um, I suppose the other thing to say is, I mean, a lot of countries understand this and have understood this for a long time, that, that uh, what's sometimes referred to as policy coherence across um, different ministries matters. Um, so there are some standing um, forums for talking about development policy. Uh, um, you know, for example, the UK um, has written into its um, uh, 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 parliamentary commitments uh, a requirement for the government to report every year about what it does beyond aid. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I know other countries we've talked to have um, interministerial groups on development. And so this is an input to those and, and an encouragement to have them in, in the first place. And um, we know there are some ministers who, who you know, who understand this, this point and are, and are driving change in their, in their countries.